guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm gonna show you how I made some really cute, chippy, rustic DIY corbels. Mine are super simple and rustic and I'm really happy with how it turned out. This project, fortunately, things went rather smoothly for a DIY project for me. Um, it was kind of nice to have a break from having to deal with so many issues. So if I can do this project, you can do this project. The only uh, thing that you need to look for or look out for, I should say, is your fingers, because because I used nails instead of like a Craig jig, um, I kind of hammered my fingers a couple times. I actually got this basic tutorial from Shanti to Chic. I'll, I'll put it right here, but um, they had an awesome tutorial on how they made theirs. I kind of customized mine to be smaller, and I just used the wood that I had available to me. It's actually wood from Craigslist. Somebody was giving away a bunch of wood and it's actually the same place that I got the pallet wood for the farmhouse sign that I did. There are screw holes all throughout the wood but I think it adds a lot more character and charm to it really. But I will stop blabbing and I'll show you how I did it. So I started with this piece of scrap wood. I actually picked it up off of Craigslist for free. Now here's a piece and it had a lovely random sticker there. My first piece I measured to 11 inches and my second piece I measured to 10 and 3 quarters. I wanted it to be perfectly square, but this will change based on what wood you have. Now can we talk about this miter box? I love it. It's amazing. I bought it from Lowe's for $15, I'll link it down below. So here we're just starting the nails on this bit of wood because it's kind of awkward to start them when you're attaching them, but I just attach them in a L shape. Next, I marked the wood two inches up from each end. And measured the distance in between those marks. Mine came to 11.75, and that's going to be the length of your middle brace. Now I'm cutting 45 degree angles in the wood. Here you can actually see that I messed up and I was about to cut it the wrong way. You wanna make sure that you double check each cut before you make it. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. the other side to match. Next we put the L-shaped piece onto the place where I wanted them, lining it up with the marks that we made earlier. Then we just marked where the wood laid and nailed them down. The reason why we did this was because our walls aren't exactly square and I wanted it to match up perfectly. Then I just sanded them down and apply to stain. And then I painted them with my typical chalk paint. Then I started lightly distressing them along the edges just revealing the darker stain. I attached the corbels to the wall using Velcro or a Velcro-like command strip. 
I do live in a rental, so this is how I decided to hang it up there. Now at this point, when I had lightly sanded it, I thought it looked good, but I wasn't really happy with how it looked up in there. There wasn't enough contrast with the wall. So I went ahead and sanded it down with an 80 grit sandpaper and really made it chippy and distressed. watching. I really hope you like this video. I hope it inspires you to try to make your own corbels or just work with free wood that you get on Craigslist because it's free. And why wouldn't you? <laughs> I swear that I have just come to love the free section of Craigslist so much. Um, I'm kind of addicted to it. Anytime I see something, I'm like, babe, can I have the car to uh, go pick this up? And he's like, oh, again with the free stuff. And I'm like, yes please. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I'll see you guys in the next video and look out for the next couple videos because there might or might not be a announcement that I'm going to be making in regards to my channel and just some minor changes, nothing too big, but I might be putting out more content more regularly. So that's exciting. I hope you guys are excited for that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!